Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Hoff coming at you from the Cuffs 5M server. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial just uh, on how to do some keybinds for some emotes so that you guys can have some seamless immersion in your RP. I get asked quite often about my emotes and how I do it, so I figured what better way than for me to just take you guys along with it and show you how it's done. So. First things first, let's open up our emote menu and choose an emote. Let's, let's go with whistle. So to do this, it's really simple. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. So follow along, pause, rewind, rewatch, do whatever you need to do. Here we go. So first things first, F8 brings up your 5M client. Okay. Next, we're gonna type bind, space, keyboard, space, quotation. And we're gonna go numpad, if I can not pat finger some stuff here. Numpad zero, quotation. We're gonna go quote. And then we look and it's E whistle. So we'll go E whistle. You'll notice I did not put the forward slash. It is not required for this. Okay. So now that's it. We're gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna hit F8 again to get out of the client, exit my menu there. And now if I press the zero on my numpad, there I am whistling. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do. Okay, so another thing that you can do is you can stack emotes. So let's do an example of that. Let's go bind, keyboard. And we'll do numpad one this time. Okay, and we're gonna go E, scared two, it's just one that I know off the top of my head, and we'll hit that, okay? Now if we back out, we'll hit one, and now we're scared, okay? Let's exit that. Now we're gonna stack an emote on top of that, okay? Or an action, we're gonna stack an action on top of that, so let's go numpad one again. Numpad one. Then we're gonna do a me. Okay. All right, just like that. So now, when I hit that, I'm scared and I pee my pants. Okay, that's just just an example. It's not something I'm actually gonna use but just an example for you guys. Now say I wanted to change that or I wanted to remove it or whatever. It's pretty simple. We go back into the F8 client. You go unbind, keyboard, numpad one, and then hit enter. Now you gotta make sure that you define what key you're trying to unbind. If you were to just say unbind keyboard, it's gonna take that as a blanket statement that you're wanting to unbind all of your keybinds, and you don't want to do that. So don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, guys. I almost forgot that I wanted to show you one other thing that you can do, and to do that, I'm gonna show you how I've got mine already set up. Also, if you were wanting to see what your keybinds are set as, so like maybe you bound something to a key and you can't remember what key it was or what exactly you bound to that key. If you just type bind keyboard, or wait, no, sorry. If you just type bind, that'll show you all of your keybinds. And then you can use your scroll wheel up here. You know, you gotta be over the, the client, but you can scroll through here and I can see numpad zero. Oh, there's my whistle right there. There's fix. So that's the one thing I was gonna say is like, um, let's just actually, let's go up here. Let's go up to keyboard four five, keyboard four five, where you at? Okay, so right here I've got keyboard four as engine and keyboard five as DV. That's so like right here, I know every time you get in a vehicle, once you've spawned it, the engine will start automatically. But when you pull up and park somewhere, you want to shut your engine off because it doesn't turn off when you get out. Or when you spawn your vehicle, you don't want to have to get out and get back in it to start the engine or type, you know, T slash engine in the chat to get your engine to start. So I bound mine to the number four on my keyboard. So I can literally just go like that. And my engine just started. And then I can go, okay, let's... Let's go for a drive. Oh, wait a second, I forgot. I need to do something back at the casino. That's what 
that's my magic trick. But yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's how I do the the kind of things that I do when I'm doing my RPs. So you're not seeing the the text thing come up on my recordings and things like that. Because I, I just think it, it just looks bad. It looks bad. And this just makes for so much better of an immersion. So that's it, guys. I hope you found some usefulness out of this. Um, if you did, please please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, maybe think about doing that. Turn the notification bell on. And I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.